Make today iconic. What is up, guys? It's Upcom Sports back with another realistic rebuild here on my channel. In this one, we're redoing the Chicago Bulls since they signed Jabari Parker, obviously, to a two year deal. They also re signed Zach Levine to a four year, $20 million deal, if you guys didn't know that. But here are the settings I'm going to be using. You guys can go back and pause the objectives if you'd like. Um, pretty much, I do use trade overrides sometimes. Or obviously, if you're on the channel a lot, you know I try to make the most fair trades as possible. But this is a roster, updated roster with Jabari Parker and Wendell Carter, the rookie, on here as well. He's got some potential. We're going to start him at center right away. But first season, we're not really going to make any trades. We'll just see how 2K thinks the Bulls are going to do in real life. But usually in simulations, when we do the Bulls, they end up like getting to the conference finals or even the finals in the first year so they'll probably do good this is the rotation chris dunn at point guard you guys know the team let's just see what happens so in the first season steph curry is going to win mvp for the warriors eight and rookie of the year tyreek evans six man deandre jordan defensive player and chris dunn most improved no surprise here he always wins it steve kerr coach of the year but I doubt any Bulls made it to a team. Actually, Chris Dunn on the defensive second team, so that's pretty good. Wendell Carter also on our rookie team. He had a pretty solid season. We were actually the fourth seed, winning over 45 games, so not really realistic, but I can't control the simulation, obviously. We'll be playing the Wizards in the first round. We might even get to the conference finals. But Laurie Markkinen and Zach Levine both balled out. Also, Jabari Parker, nice season. So actually in the first round, we're up 3-0 on the Wizards. We're about to sweep them. I can't help this, but we do sweep the Wizards. Uh, obviously this wouldn't happen in real life, but we'll be moving on to the second round. And in the second round, we're actually up 3-1 on the Bucks. Don't know how. Can we close them out? We do close them out in six games. Zach Levine with 29 points, six rebounds. Giannis 31 points 10 rebounds but in the conference finals we are down 3-0 to the Raptors which I kind of expected yeah the Raptors are pretty OP now in the simulations with Kawhi Leonard so hopefully we'll get back to the conference finals and even the finals in the rest of this rebuild Thunder win the championship With the 20th pick in the 2019 NBA Draft, we are going to pick up Darius Garland, point guard slash shooting guard out of Vanderbilt. He'll be a nice backup guard for us. And we want to go after a big time free agent. So Omer Ashik on his one year deal to the Hawks. We'll give them two second round picks and they'll throw back not even a rotation player to us. So one guy that I really like here is Kemba Walker, obviously at point guard. We do have Chris Dunn, but he He's more of a backup guard, really, if we want to use him that way. Let's see if Kemba wants to come to us, and he does. So in order to bring back Bobby Portis, we have to clear up like 4 mil in cap. Cristiano Felicio and Denzel Valentine we're probably not going to use. And Detroit needs some shooters on their team. They're already fully invested in Blake Griffin and Andre Drummond. Denzel Valentine will provide that, and we also get a nice backup center in Aaron Baines. So now we've got our franchise point guard in Kemba Walker, which I think could happen in real life. No one really knows what Kemba's going to decide to do, but he finally has a good enough team to compete in the playoffs in the East. And I'm really liking this team. We're definitely better than last year, so I expect to improve upon last year's performance. Here's the rotation. You guys can see Chris Dunn might even get six man of the year this time. So in this season, Russell Westbrook's going to win MVP for the Thunder. Zion for Portland Rookie of the Year. That's kind of weird, but Billy Donovan, Coach of the Year. Um, let's see if anyone made an All-NBA team. Kemba Walker surprisingly did not make a team, but we did not even make the playoffs. We were the 11th seed, not even winning 40 games. I don't know how this happens. 2K needs to fix their game for 2K19, honestly, but if they don't, what are you going to do? <sighs> the Celtics didn't even make the playoffs. This game is so broken, but hopefully next year we can add some pieces and get back to the conference finals. 
Laurie Markinen actually balled out, almost averaging 20 points per game. Kemba not really doing as well as I would like. That's also something they need to fix in 2K19. Player stats, players don't average nearly as much as they would in real life. But Sixers Rockets finals and the Rockets are going to take it all. So we are in the draft lottery and we have chances 10th pick and we do get the 10th pick overall. So since we already have the 10th pick and Bobby Portis, we don't really need him. We're going to send him to Brooklyn along with a second round pick to move up four spots to number six. Hopefully they want to do this. They need some young talent. Obviously they don't have, they haven't had draft picks in a while. So adding Bobby Portis to move down four spots is nice. So there was a lot of guys that could have went with here at number six, but we are going to pick up a center. He'll probably be a backup. We need backup big men at this point. And in that offseason, not very much happened. Just the rookie signings and that one trade to move up to six. But this team's looking actually very solid. But I don't know if we're going to make the playoffs. Obviously, last year we should have made it because we added Kemba Walker and didn't remove any pieces. So I don't know how we didn't make the playoffs and the first year we got to the conference finals but let's see what we can do this year so this season Giannis is gonna win MVP for the Bucks Charles Basie on the heat Naz Reed also on the heat that's a very deadly front court for them Billy Donovan again coach of the year for the Thunder but let's see if anyone made it on an all NBA team looks like they did not we were the sixth seed winning 47 games so obviously Maybe it was just a thing about chemistry, even though chemistry is off in these rebuilds. Maybe it just took a while to establish who was the number one scoring option, whether Markinen or Kemba. Obviously, Markinen scoring more points in the simulation, but in real life, I think Kemba would take over. Obviously, he's the more gifted scorer of the two. And in this first round, we're tied at two with the Milwaukee Bucks, who are the three seed. So let's see if we can take them down here in this critical game five it looks like it's going to be a close game all the way the, the lead keeps switching but we do end up winning by one point zach levine with a huge game 18 points for him i feel zach levine would kind of play that third option on this team behind kemba and lowry but who knows Maybe he'd be the number one option and then Markkinen and Kemba. But let's see if we can close the Bucks out here in six games. Or they might storm back and they do end up winning by eight points. Pretty nice game from Kemba, 21 points. But we probably need a little bit more production from him. Giannis is really balling out. So game seven, let's see if we can get to the next round. This is probably going to be one of our tougher opponents. And we do end up winning only allowing 71 points from the Bucks. Big game from Kemba. Also a nice game from Zach Levine and Markkanen. Let's see what happens in the next round. Giannis only had two points and he did not make a single shot. What the heck? And in the second round, we are already playing the Brooklyn Nets. I don't know how the Nets got to this point, but we're up 3-0 on them. Let's see if we can get the sweep on them. It's looking pretty good right now. It's looking like a blowout, and we do blow them out. Kemba Walker, 21 points, 5 assists. Not too bad, so we are going to pick up the sweep here. They do have Cash Stanley and Andre Drummond somehow. I don't see D-loading, though, so they probably traded D'Angelo Russell for Andre Drummond. Here in the conference finals, rematch from the first year against the Raptors, but this time we're up 3-0 on them. Let's see if we can sweep them here. And it looks it looks like we're going to blow them out again, just like the Nets. Our defense is really good, actually. So, Jabari Parker and Markinen, both with big gains. Markinen, actually a double-double. And Kawhi Leonard tried to put on a show, but wasn't enough. Yeah, it wasn't enough. So here in the NBA Finals, we're taking on the Thunder, who won a championship in the first year, and we do end up winning game one, so Lowry Markinen dropping 31 points, 7 rebounds, 1 assist. He's really been good in this playoffs. 
Game two, we also take it. So we're up 2-0 on the Thunder right now. Marking in another nice game. Kemba Walker also a pretty good game, 23 points. Game three, we do end up losing. Marking in 38 and 17. Oh my God. Paul George, Paul George also went off. So Westbrook's not really playing his best right now. If he does get in his bag, watch out. But 2-2. 2-2 right now. The Thunder tie it up. Winning by four points. Paul George, 46 points. 46 from PG. Critical game here. And we do, ta we do take a 3-2 lead here. Uh, marking in a double-double, 17-12. and 12. Not really that high of a scoring game. But let's see if we can close it out here. In six games against the Thunder. And it looks like we are absolutely destroying them. Up by 20. So yeah, this game is over. I just hopped in for a little bit of fun. But we are going to be the NBA champions. Let's just see how this team actually plays. Try to get a bucket with Kemba Walker. And that was a bad shot. But doesn't matter. Oh crap. Yep. PG and one. Okay, that was a bad first possession, but let's see if we can actually get a bucket here with Kemba or someone else. It looks like maybe Jabari or Markinen fouled out. Or they're just not in the game. But, oh crap, almost lost the ball there. Someone make a cut, someone make a cut. Chandler, Chandler Hutchinson, right to the rack. For two points. Oh, I forgot they did have Dennis Schroeder on this team. Forgot all about that trade, but... PG, let's see if we can stop them. They almost turned the ball over, and we do get a block. So, Darius Garland here. We got a mismatch. I'm going to try to expose him. I'm going to try to break his ankles. Actually, he's clamping me up, but get right past him. Oh, almost got that to go, but... We are going to be the NBA champions here in the third year. Usually the Bulls do well in these simulations, so it makes sense. Just adding Kemba Walker was enough to win a championship, but I'll let you guys watch the ceremony and we'll check out the stats. So, Paul George, 27 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. Westbrook, only 16 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists. Not really his best game. Zach Levine showed up in this game 6, 27 points for him. Um, great shooting from the field for Zach Levine, carrying this team. So, Markinen is going to win the finals MVP, averaging 23 points and 10 rebounds a game. So that's going to do it for this rebuild. Let me know what you guys thought of this team. Let me know what you guys would have done differently. Also, let me know if it was realistic enough. If you're a Bulls fan, leave a like on this video. Also, if you're not. And comment what other rebuilds I should do. Obviously, 2K19 is going to come out. So I'm going to be coming out with the bangers. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. Never get to me. Bring out the brains truck. I'm young, flying, ice up. Honey, yard dash. I had to run my price up. Boss your life up.